we are in a chapter called real numbers and we are solving the first exercise in this particular chapter that is 8.1 we already completed the first main question first main question is to find the hcf of any two numbers using euclid's division algorithm now today's class is real numbers class number 6 and we continue solving the exercise 8.1 8.1 now today's class we are going to solve the second question the second question is show that any positive odd integer is in the form of 6q plus 1 6q plus 3 6q plus 5 where q is some integer these are all logical proof very nice problems see i already told you any positive uh, integer if it is an even number it is in the form of 2q if a number is in, is an odd number is an odd number then it should be in the form of 2q plus 1 if any number is in the form of 2q plus 1 it is an odd number right odd number 2q plus 1 even number 2q here what happen they are given three numbers 6q plus 1 6q plus 3, 6q plus 5. We have to prove that they are odd numbers. Odd number means they should be in the form of what? 2q plus 1. Now I write one one number. First number what is given? 6q plus 1. We have to prove that it is an odd number. To prove this is an odd number, I should express this number 6q plus 1 in the form of what? 2q plus 1. Now I write see how oh, simple it is, which is equal to. Now between one is there, remainder two q plus one. I want one is there. Leave that one. Can I take two as a common factor in this from six q? Can I take two as a common factor? Yes, I can take two as a common factor. When I take two as a common factor, then it becomes three q. It becomes what? Three q. Six of three q. So sorry, two of three q, two of three q is equal to six q plus one. Means I can write six q plus one as two of three q plus one. If now I can see now what happens. This three q, I call this as m. I call this the, the, the term inside the bracket as m. Therefore, I can write this as two m plus one. 2m plus 1. Here, m is equal to 3q. M is equal to what? 3q. See this number. 2m plus 1. Now I express 6q plus 1 as 2m plus 1. Therefore, it is an odd number. Any number which is expressed in the form of 2q plus 1 is an odd number. Therefore, therefore, 6q plus 1. Is an odd number. This you can, should I able to understand? Any number is expressed in the form of 2q plus 1 is an odd number. I express 6q plus 1 as 2q plus 1. Therefore, it is an odd number. Don't worry about the q m. And m and q m they are all variables. You can replace by any number. Now, second one is given. 6q plus 3 is given. Now we have to express this one in the form of 2q plus 1. I want one here, but what is there? Three is there. Then what I should do? I want one. For that one, what I do is 6q I write. This three I break. The three I break it as 2 plus 1. Because I want one, no. That's why I break it as three as two plus one. Now between these two, can I take two as a common factor? Yes, I can take, which is equal to two of three q plus one inside the bracket. Six. Well, this is six q plus two. Two I take as a common factor. Then it becomes three q plus one. Outside the bracket, one is there. Now what I do is, 
the bracket inside the bracket 3q plus 1 is there now I call 3q plus 1 as m I can change any variable therefore which is equal to 2m plus 1 2m plus 1 I express 6q plus 3 as 2m plus 1 but here here m is equal to m is equal to 3q plus 1 m, m is a variable it can be anything therefore therefore what about therefore 6q plus 3 is an odd number is an odd number because I can express 6q plus 3 as 2m plus 1 the next is 6q plus 5 now I should express this 6q plus 5 as 2m plus 1 I want 1 what is there here 5 is there for that one what I do is I write 6q as it is I break this 5 because I want 1 break this 5 as 4 plus 1 I break this 5 as what 4 plus 1 between these two between 6q and 4 I can take 2 because I should express in the form of 2m plus 1 therefore what I do is which is equal to 2 I take m as a common factor this becomes 3q plus 2 3q plus 2 plus 1 this can is equivalent to now I consider 3q plus 2 as m therefore it becomes 2m plus 1 2m plus 1 here m is equal to 3q plus 2 m is a variable it can be anything we don't want to worry about that but it is in the form of 2m plus 1 see all the numbers are in the form of what 2m plus 1 therefore all of them are odd numbers therefore 6q plus 5 is an odd number odd. therefore I express all these numbers are See now we, in, we are in the third problem of exercise 8.1 See lengthy problem As teachers we write all these things While sitting at home you have to write and solve Write and solve Your children you are going to face the public examination You have to sit and write But we are writing Kindly write it down and then solve See the question is An RB contingent of 616 members in an army troop 616 people are there 616 members he used to march behind an army band you know you have seen this republic day republic day the army band is there behind the army band the army people they march army band how many people are there 32 32 members See, 32 members are band people, 600 mem 616 are uh, RB people, contingent. Now they have to march in a terrain, Republic Day terrain. Two groups are to march in the same number of columns. Suppose, try to understand, if the band people makes five columns, then all these 616 people also to make 5 columns, 5 columns. How many lines they come? How many lines the band people they make? That many lines the army people has to make. Because uniformity, symmetry, it should look nice. While writing answer in the public examination also, we have to write in a proper manner. We have to impress the evaluator. Like that in a Republic Day Parade, the army people has to march in a beautiful symmetry. 32 members they make columns. Accordingly fast the army people has to arrange themselves in that particular columns. March in the same number of columns. What is the maximum? This is the trick. What is the maximum number of columns in which they can march? All should fit in equal numbers. What is the maximum number? You can you can tell, sir. 
this is 32 is there, we make two columns of 16, 16 and 6, 7, 16 is there, they also make two columns, we march, no, not like that, maximum, nice it should be, army people, students should also, studying is also like uh, war type only, you have to do, do perfect studies, right, maximum means you have to find the HCF, problem may be bigger, what you have to do is, you have to find the HCF of these two numbers, highest common factor of these two numbers if you get, then that is the maximum number of columns. Therefore, the answer is very, very simple. What is that? Maximum, maximum number of columns, maximum number of columns is equal to HCF of two numbers. Which are the two numbers? 6, 7, and 16. Uh, uh, army people and 32 band people. Simple. Then how to find the HCF? We use Euclid's division lemma. The procedure is called Euclid's division algorithm. Uh, now, to find the HCF, the first step is identify which is the bigger number. Which is the bigger number? 616 is greater than 32. 616 is greater than 32. Therefore, a is equal to 616. A is equal to 616. And B is equal to B is equal to 32. Euclid's division lemma. Euclid's division lemma. What it tells? A is equal to BQ plus R, where R is greater than or equal to 0 less than B. Now I consider 616 as A, 32 as B. Now what should I do? I go for working. 616 is divided by 30. We know the table of 30. 31 is 30, 32 is 60. Then 32 is uh, 64 it becomes. Therefore, we go for 1's. 32, 1's, 32. 11, 11 minus 2 is 9. Here it is 5. 5 minus 3 is 2. 296. 296. 6, 11 minus 2 is uh, 9. 5, 5, 2. Right? Now, again, we have to try 296, 32 into 9, sa, see, try, try, 32 9, sa, 9 2, sa, 18, 1, 9 3, sa, 27, 1, uh, 27, 1, 28, it is possible, right? Therefore, what I do is, 32 9, sa, 9 2 is 18, 1, 9 3 is 27 plus 1, 28, 28, what is the remainder? 16, 6, 16 minus 8 is 8, 8, then that is 0. See, the remainder is not 0 and remainder is less than 32, right? Therefore, my step is, 1, 6, 7, 16 is equal to 32 into 19 plus 8. Now see, is 8 is equal to 0? No. R is not equal to 0. Therefore, we have to continue the procedure. For continuation, we have to take now, which is, this part is over. Now, A is 32. B is 8. Now you know the table, isn't it? 32 and 8 you know. 8 1 is 8, 8 2 is 16, 8 3 is 24, 8 4 is 32. Therefore, it is 8 into 4, 32. The remainder is 0. 32 is equal to 8 into 4. What is the remainder? 0. Now I got the remainder as 0. R is equal to 0. R is equal to 0. Therefore, HCF of 616, 32 
32 is equal to in this step which is B which is the divisor 8 that is the HC 8 is the HCF of 616 comma 32 it means to say that maximum number of columns is 8 32 member band and 616 member army people they can make 8 columns 8 columns and they correctly march therefore maximum number of maximum maximum number of columns is equal to B that is the answer very simple easy problem it is maximum means highest highest common factor right you have to write and practice